And so what about the heads, guys? One. Okay. Two. Three! Oh, three heads! Come on! Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> So guys, we have all new Series 2 Wave 1 of Gujitsus, And we have the even ultra rare, the Hydra. That is so cool. And plus, in addition to the Wave 1 that came with a total of six, plus Hydra makes seven, we also have the new two packs as well. And new to the two pack series, we've got Badax. Oh, he's so Badax. He's so cool looking. I'm excited to open him up and see what he looks like. And well, these other guys we're familiar with, if you've seen the earlier in the first series, waves one, two, and three. In fact, we'll, let's go over all that. So let's get these two packs out of the way over here. Let's just take them one by one. And okay, so first off, we have the Ultra Rare Hydra. He's the new Ultra Rare in series two, wave one. Now, who was the Ultra Rare in series one? And there were three waves. It was wave two, and that was Frostbite. <laughs> Yeah, he's super cool, but he only came out wave two. So I assume they're gonna have more waves because they had a total of three waves in series one. And so they'll have two more, I assume, waves to make a total of three waves. And this may be the, our only chance to get the ultra rare. I'm not sure, maybe they'll have ultra rares in wave two and wave three if they have them. But in any case, there we go. And let's go over what was in series one, wave one. Then we'll go over wave two and then wave three. Now, some of these guys look familiar, and if they do look familiar, like Blazigon and Pantaro, they're from Series 1. These other guys, totally new to Series 2. Let's put them over to the side, we'll get to them later. But let's do a little bit of analysis. Let's go back in time. Okay, guys, here's the sixth that was in the first Series Wave 1 of Gujitsu. The very first uh, Gujitsus that came out, total of six here. There's Pantaro, okay, and we just saw him in Series 2, Wave 1, which is over here. <laughs> He's all new. He's got a different fad going about him. Oh, that's so fashionable with Pantaro. You look cool. And not only is he in here, but he's also in the two-pack, and he's gone gold on us. So we have a total of three Pantaros here, but let's go back and keep it simple here, guys. But what I was trying to say is that Pantaro, he was in Series 1, Wave 1. And then also, we've got Blazagon, Series 1, Wave 1. Now, we also have Blazagon in the two-pack. Oh, he's the gold, the special gold edition here. And you also have him in Series 2, Wave 1. And I'm trying to keep all this together. And then we got the big Blaze, Super Blazagoo. So you have different Blazagons, three different ones. And you have, well, four, big Blazagoo. I mean, this guy's super cool. Here, let's give a whistle. So man, they really went overboard with him. That's super cool. Now you know where it's coming from here. Let's put these guys back. So there's the first two in series one, wave one. And Pantaro's the panther. And then Blazegon's the dragon. Again, Sahario the lion. And then you got Wolf Pain with his crunch attack. And then we have Tigor. Now Tigor's kind of interesting because right here, you can see he's super squishy, very squishy. But what's interesting about Tigor is that he was also in the two packs from the first series. See Tigor, he's here and he's here from the first series. Now, why do I have two Tigors? Because they're two different Tigors. First of all, here's the original Tigor, okay? But these two Tigors, they glow in the dark. So why do I have two Tigors? They both glow in the dark, but one is, what's this one? Oh, he's squishy. And this one, he's stretchy. So you can see right there where Tiger stretchy. So if you push on him, oh, it's very hard, but he stretches really well. Now remember, he's super squishy. And so is this Tigor. You can see he's super squishy right there. But this squishy glows in the dark, this squishy doesn't. So that's where Tiger comes in. And so Tigor, super cool. Of course, he's battling Viper, the reptile, the snake here. So there we go, there's series one. And then we have Thrash, the shark, okay? Now he is super stretchy. Now with Thrash, the shark, he was also in a two pack here that also glows in the dark and that's super cool and he's battling Rockjaw. Oh, and didn't we just see Rockjaw in series two, wave one in a two pack? Yes, we did. There he is, he's back, he's sporting glasses, he's cooler. So 
if your head's spinning right now and you're like, how do we keep track of all this? Well, you can pause and always rewind it, right? In any case. So cool. So there's Rockjaw. He glows in the dark. And here's Thrash. He glows in the dark. And this one, he doesn't glow in the dark. Okay, so that is all. And then don't forget, this was Series 1, but... And also, you know, Series 1, the two packs, where they came from Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, not quite sure. Now on to Series 1, Wave 2. So guys, here's Series 1, Wave 2, and there's six... Plus the ultra rare Frostbite is seven. So we've got Silverback, the big gorilla. Then we have Scorpius, Scorpion. And then we've got Sahario, the lion. Then we got Simeon, the monkey. Then we got Pentaro, the panther. And we got Blazagon, the dragon. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, wait a second. Some of these were already in wave one of series one. Why put them again in wave two? Well, have you ever gone to the store and shopped and you're like, man, they got tons of Blazagons there because they keep shipping them pretty much in every wave. Um, it's probably a pretty popular one, and the Goos, if you watched our other video, the Orbeez that are in there squishing him, super cool. So this one is very fun to play with. Um, as a side, to maybe Pantaro, you can't really see what's inside of him. Even the treat that's inside of him, you can squish around, but it's really hard. You'll have to watch our other video where we cut open them to actually see the treat that we found inside of him. Otherwise, you're feeling blind these through this because... It's not transparent, like you can see over here with Blazagon. So there's the super ultra rare Frostbite, the big Yeti guy. So these three, Sahario, Pantaro, and Blazagon, the same guys from series one, wave one. So now we're, they're also here in wave two. So let's put those guys down. So what was new to the second wave is Silverback, Scorpius, and Simeon. And then you got Frostbite. Ultra rare, hard to find, super cool. So there we go, that we've got now wave two out of the way of series one. Let's take a look at wave three in series one. So guys, now we finished the final series one with, with- With wave three. With wave three. And how many do we have? Well, we have Blazegon the Dragon. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a total of eight. So Blazegon the Dragon, Simi the Monkey, and then new to wave three is Graplock the Octopus. And then we have Sahario, he's back. Hey, good to see you again, the lion. And then new we have in wave three is Brawler the bear. Das Vidanya, he looks Russian. Welcome to all Russian friends. And then we've got Wolf Pain, Crunch Attack. And then we've got Pentaro. And then, well, Wolf Pain, he was in uh, wave one. He skipped wave two and came back in wave three. Then Pentaro, and then new to wave three is Mantor. So Mantor the Mantis. Total of all these guys, put them down, that we've seen before. Gosh, got a lot of repeats here. Well, Simeon the Monkey was from wave two, so he came back to join us from wave two. He came back from the dead from wave one to join us in wave three. So these three guys right here, they're the running gag through the entire series. They're in all ways, Blazegon, Pentaro, and Sahario. So put those guys down from wave two. Well, he was in wave one again, coming back to wave three and totally new to wave three, three amigos. Wave three, Mentor, Brawler, Graplock. Good, thanks for coming guys. Now we're up to speed. Okay guys, so we're back now to series two, wave one. Everything you see here. So we have Gigatus the elephant, and then we got Pantaro the panther, Blazegon the dragon. Then you have totally new looking Reptar. I call him the reptile, but they call him the frill neck. So he's got frills on his neck. I mean, he's going to a fashion parade ball or something. And then you've got Redback. He's a spider. And you can see the little webs that he's kind of shooting out. We'll see how that looks. And then, of course, you got Thrash the shark. And then you got the coolest one out of all of them, the super rare, which is Hydra. And that's the serpent, maybe the sea serpent, as it were. And then, like I said, you got him here. You got Blazagon, the golden. Then you have Rockjaw, who's sporting new glasses. It looks cool. So it's Rockjaw versus Blazegon. So Rockjaw's evil, Blazegon's good. And speaking of which, out of all these guys right here, there's only one evil dude, and that's the Spider the Redback. Everybody else is good. And we'll show you that by the patches that are displayed on their shorts, usually on their shorts. And then now, in the other two pack, you've got Badax versus the Golden Pentaro. And Badax is the evil dude. So out of all these, got a total of three evil dudes. You have Badax, he's evil. You have the spider, he's evil. And then of course, Rockjaw, he's back sporting some new duds and he's evil too. So let's go ahead and open them up, go through each one of them. Okay guys, first of all, I'm gonna start with Thrash, the shark. And you can see he is down here. 
I'm super squishy. And then look down below, here you can see we got the water attack, which is new. Their heads actually squirt water. I don't know if you can see it, but let's see. He's got a little hole right here, so you can fill up the head with water and squirt it. We're gonna do that, that's gonna be super cool. And then you can see on the back, so on the back, you can see you've got unique goo feelings, nothing more than goo feelings. So we got goo feelings here. They have different feelings inside of them, gooey stuff. And then you can see up at the top, you've got a total of three steps. You take off the head. Whoa, you take off the head of Thrash. You put them in water and you squeeze it, suck up the water and you can squirt them out. So on the back there, you can see you got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including the Ultra Rare Hydra, all of them listed there. Cool, now Thrash, a little bit of background on him is that always after a bite of the action, Thrash dies into every battle headfirst, wiping out his opponents with his trident strike. So that's different than the Thrash we saw before, right guys? See, his fist is down in, in series two. His fist is up. More power to the Thrash in uh, series one. And then you can see he's got his trident strike. That's pretty cool. You can actually see he's got bubbles in him or something. We're going to open that up and take a look at it. So let's go ahead and open them. The easiest way I find to open them is just to take the, the top part, bend it back until you can get to the plastic part and then just tear it. Oh, woo! Look, and like all Gujitsus, they can't stand up for themselves, you know, but they're wobbly and they're cool. And oh man, and look at those little beads in them. You see those beads? Look at that. Oh, here, let's try to see if we can get some more beads in there. You see those beads? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, they feel kind of bumpy, white bumpy beads. Maybe he has a virus. <laughs> it's called the beady virus. And you can see the patch on him. That one with the paw, that means he's a good guy. And I'll show you who the bad guy is later on. And then you got the trident. And then on the back of his head, you can see what's inside of him if you want to read what's inside of him there. It says all new material, content, gel, polystyrene, foam beads. Wow. Well, that's fancy foam beads. So it's foamy inside, guys. Now, in series one, all of series one, wave one, two, and three, they always had a treat, which gave them the goo power, right? Should we take a look? Oh, look at that. You turn them upside down and all, all the foam beads go to his feetsies. You see that? That's like one of those little things, like, like little snow globes. Yeah, you shake them around and then, and then all of a sudden, everything goes to the top. So the snow beads all float up. And then now the snow beads all go to his feet. And you know what? I don't see anything in here. I don't know if they actually put any treat in here. I can't see it. Oh, I'll have to like play with it for a minute to see if there's any treats. I think they did away with treats. Oh, how horrible. Where did they get their goop power if they don't have a treat inside of them? Oh, I don't see any treats. Oh, look, you can actually take off his duds. <laughs> hey, his duds. He just lost half his goo power. Okay, so here we go. Now we can really see things. Oh, you see all the beads, how they're just floating up up at the top here? Can you see that? You know what? And I can't see any treats. So guys, I don't see any treat inside of them. And here are the treats. All the treats we got from... <laughs> from all of the uh, Gujitsus in series one, wave one, two, and three. So go ahead and watch our videos on it. Donut, cotton candy, treat, ice cream cone. Oh, there goes the Coke bottle. Oh, and then from the ultra rare, the Frostbite Yeti, we've had our little popsicle. Go ahead and watch that video, it's super fun. But I don't see any treats in them at all. You know what? Maybe they did it with the way with the treat for one reason and one reason only. And that's because in replace of the treat, his head came off because now you got a squirter. So, you know, you stretch him. You can actually, oh, here, see if we can get this out. So look at all those uh, foam beads. So you want to be careful with this, guys. You know, like in series one, people report when you play with it too much and stretch it. Oh, this seems a little thicker. I don't think it's going to break as easy. This feels thicker. In series one, you can only get like 3,000 miles, 200 poles before you broke. Well, this one, it seems thicker. You might get about double or triple that. <laughs> so cool. Okay, ready for the squirt? Here we go. So you squeeze the head, you put them in the water, and you suck. Okay, should we see? <laughs> wow, let's try it again. Camera two. <laughs> That's quite the shooter. Should we see how far it goes? Let's see. Let's see if I can get Jacob. 
Whoa! You got mom. Oh, I got Caleb! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that actually shot out at least seven to eight feet. That was huge. Yeah, can I That's fly? awesome. Take a whistle, everybody. That's some goose squirt power. Okay, well, we better put this back on. He's kind of feeling naked. Ah! And without his head, I mean, where would he be? <laughs> so, come on. And you can place dress up. Come on, boys and girls. We're going to dress him up. This is how you get dressed in the morning before you go to school. Put one arm in. You put your left arm out. Then you shake them all about. That's what it's all about. Oh, he's tough. Guy. Okay, wow, that's cool. It was pretty quick. So here we go. He put his head on. And then he's like, He's got a squirt attacks. You guys can have squirt attacks with your other dudes. <laughs> he hissed out. Well, it's natural for him to squirt water because he is an under the sea. That's where he wants to be. Man, it gets wetter. Down where it's better. That's where it's water. Down where it's hotter. Uh, reverse all that. Play it backwards. It'll sound in the right position. <laughs> okay, so cool. Mom told me that we got to change it up and not use like the same words. Like cool, so bodacious. <laughs> look at that. He's doing the shuffle. <laughs> He's like, look at that. He's like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> you can have water races, slide races. <laughs> okay, Jacob, here, take his head. I'll try one. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest. It's Jacob. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he's going to squirt mom. Whoa. Easy with that, buddy. Where's my head? Where's my head? Where's my head? Where's my... <laughs> Jacob! <Whoa>. Jacob! <laughs> Quick, stop the recording! Get this out. This is not so not professional. Now, great. Now, Jacob, just make it look like I watered my pants. You gotta keep it G, guys. You can't say pee your pants because that would be rated PG. Thanks, Jacob. Now, everybody knows on YouTube that I can't hold it. I gotta go. Okay, guys, um, my chair's wet. Thanks to Jacob, I got my towel. Oh, it still looks majorly wet. Oh, I think that's just gonna, oh, I don't know about that. I think that just absorbed everything. Oh, you drenched that. Dads, moms, this is dangerous for kids. They can get you wet. Great for summer or even the bathtub. <laughs> oh, I hope that doesn't come through. Let's do Pantaro the Panther in series two. They all have the water blast here, so that's super cool. And he is super scrunchy. It's not just crunchy, it's scrunchy. It's like one of those scrunchies, you know, that the girls put in their hair. It's scrunchy. Of course, I don't know if you want to put him in your hair. Maybe you can wrap around and tie it into a knot and have Pantaro hanging on the back of your head as a scrunchie. So then on the back, with a sort of stealth, Pantaro strikes before his enemy knows what's hit them. Then he disappears back into the shadows. Woo, shadows, awesome. And you can see also up at the top, you just pull off his head, dip it in the water, squirt, same thing. Let's go ahead and just pull him out. Scrunchy. Now, what makes him scrunchy? What is those things? What are those things? So, what makes him scrunchy? I mean, you can see through him. He's pretty transparent, but what is it? Bulge him out. Oh, look at that. It looks like stars. I bet those are throwing stars or ninja stars. <laughs> Somebody threw him a, a body full of ninja stars. <laughs> he's got them all in him. I mean, of course, they're not sharp. If they were, it would pop them. And like a Thrash, I'm not seeing any treats inside of him. So let's stretch them three times his size. Whoa. And they all look like stars. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There might be something. Di Are they all stars? <laughs> They're all stars. He's an all-star. Yay. <laughs> and then he's got his sword. Remember, um, this is new to series two, as opposed to our regular Pantaro, which he had a treat inside of him. You can watch our other video. He feels good. He feels thick. He feels just like his brother. They feel thick, and so it may be harder to break them. So I think the moose did a great job at making these thicker, so you'll get more mileage out of him. So that's cool. He's, he's got his little sword stripe like this. Awesome. So here we go. Oh, and before we turn him over, you can see on the back of his head, his ingredients are all new material content gel synthetic rubber pellets. Oh, okay, rubber pellets. But they're made of ninja stars, which makes him super cool. So guys, oh, that's just therapeutic, just squeezing him and then pulling him then stretching him and then making him bulge. I mean, that's super awesome. Now, if we just pull off his head and we squeeze it in the water, you know, we ought to have a water fight just to see who wins, who can have the most power here. Whoa, oh, I got on the camera, <laughs> okay. Clean up to the camera, clean up to the camera. Can we have clean up on the camera? <laughs> Thank you, camera mom. 
Oh, oh. Okay. So cool. He shoots really well. And of course, you can just, you know, pick him up in here and just squirt him like this. Power. To oh, let's do these. Let's do them both. Let's have a let's have a shootout. I know we're not enemies, but you're in the wrong part of the table. Town. On the count of three, turn around and squirt. One, two, three. Oh, oh it looks like they both missed. I'll fill up. Okay, ready? One, two. Oh, he just went up in the air. You can have so much fun with these, these little squirt attacks. That's cool. And then have water slides. Whee! Oh, his head came off. If you go down a slide, you lose your head. You lose the entire game here. Okay, let's do him. Okay, we got Blazagon. And he is... <laughs> He's super groovy, gooey, <laughs> groovy, man. And then on the back, you can read Blazagon, a little bit of history about him, where it says, ready to erupt, Blazagon uses his blade of fire to blaze his way to victory. His burning ambition is to lead and conquer. Well, that's awesome. His blade of fire. And actually, guys, you can see it right there. Let me open it up because they got little uh, an imprint of like a flame going up. That is cool. Love it. So let's go ahead and open him up. Blazagon. Ugh. He's awesome. I mean, I love his, oh, can we actually remove his like, oh, we could have like, we can do dress ups. Look at this. We could take it off and they can switch outfits. Hey, hey, you know, I've been wearing this to school every day. I need a new outfit. Let's see if it actually works. <laughs> and girls, it's, it's fun for everybody of all ages. Yeah, smells a little bit like rubber cement. Just a little bit, not too much. Oh, wow. Interchangeable outfits, totally tubular. Like my girlfriend said, we can change his outfits. I said, no, you can't. I like, I totally don't believe you. And look, she made a believer out of me. Totally. So, wow, of course, doesn't fit him too well. Oh man, I'm just having a clean dress up. Hey, what do you think? Does he look all right? They're interchangeable outfits. Let's go have a tea party. <laughs> we can change outfits. Okay. Wow. And they just, and these are built so good. It's easy to take. Oh, look, he's got his tail. Awesome. So he's super gooey. So look, can you see the flame? There's a flame on both sides. This side, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe here, look, let's see if we can like bulge the flame. Uh, no, that's probably not going to help. But oh, that is so cool. Look at the glitter. <laughs> That's cool. He's got, oh, what's on the back? What does it say on the back? Uh, you can see right there on the back what's inside of him. So I see glitter and it's all new material content, gel plastic film. So that's what it is. It is, it's just, it's like glitter dots. Oh yeah. This is so cool, the glitter, glitter dots. Look at that. That totally is cool with the fire. They did good. I love the inside feelings, but you know what? I don't see anywhere treats. I don't think they have treats in these guys, guys. I think they swapped the treats out for something as an upgrade by swapping something out that maybe not a lot of people could actually open it and would want to open to cut through to get the treat because then you ruin the toy. Maybe after you're done playing with the toy a lot of times and you stretch them and everything and it breaks open, then you can get the treat. But even so, you have to squeeze to find the treat, which made it really fun. Kind of like a treasure X thing. You know, you're looking digging for gold now you're squeezing for a treat. So awesome. Let's go ahead and go for the squirt power. Hey, put in the comments below how fast you think I can get his outfit on. Oh, that took, he can change. He's like Superman, just find a phone booth or use my fingers. Oh, that was fast. So what you do is you just squeeze his legs and then push him through the top and then quickly, guys, you could have races with changing outfits. I mean, people may look at you kind of weird. <laughs> Got his outfit on, let's do the squirt thing. Uh, look at it, his head's more elongated, so I wonder if I get a better farther shot with him. Okay, oh, that was a lot. Wow, whoa! <laughs> I actually hit the ceiling and he had left to spare. That's cool, guys. I love our new Blazagon. He's coming, he's packed with attitude. In fact, this is my favorite. I love the glitter dots. I could just, I mean, it's so therapeutic. Oh, and then let's squeeze him in between his stuff. Oh, he's popping out of his suit. It actually look kind of cool when you do it from the back. Look, it's out the back of his uh, armor there, his gold armor. Guys, I like the new and improved Blazagon. He looks super cool. Oh, guys, as a quick recap, he's got a paw, so he's a good guy. He's got a paw. He's a good guy. And the paw's right there. I don't know if you can see that, just right on his chest. So he's a good guy. Um, we'll save our evil dude for last, I think. Let's go to, who should we do next? Gigatusk or our Reptor, the Frilly Neck. Oh, let's do him. Oh. 
He's got pantaloons on. What if you could change pantaloons? That'll be interesting. Okay, so there's Reptar, the frilly neck. And you can see he's super stretchy. And then you can see on the back, Reptar, read a little bit about him. Beware the claw that spins like a saw. Beware the claw that spins like a saw. Bee! This cold-blooded hero is always buzzing for some bare-fisted action. How can you be a hero and be cold-blooded? Oh, because he's a reptile. He's naturally cold-blooded. He's frilly neck. Awesome. Let's go ahead and open him up. And uh, super stretchy. So you know what that... Oh, look at that. He looks cool. Super stretchy. Oh. oh. Like the monkey. Yeah, he's kind of like the monkey. Yeah. Wait a second. We had a rating system because in series one, he was hard to stretch. He was the toughest one to stretch. Um, the monkey was uh, easier and Graplock, the octopus, he was the easiest. Now, so on a scale of one to three of being stretchy, um, he's not as stretchy as Graplock. Uh, he's a little bit tougher than Simeon, but not as tough as season one, Thrash. I would say, yeah, he's just after Thrash. Oh, that's cool. Oh, he's, he's got his saw blade hand there. Oh, be careful. That's sharp, guys. Maybe not, but it's kind of fun to play with. I mean, that's cool. So I like him. Let's see if we can get a good shot here. Uh, let's see if we can get behind him. That looks cool. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light again. Oh, look at that. Hey, guys, it's Caleb and Jacob. Yay! We finally joined him. So, you know what? I see something that may come off. Do we dare take off his shorts? I mean, hey, you know, it's like Mickey Mouse. He just wears shorts. And so, in any case, oh, his shorts does come off. <laughs> My shorts! My shorts! <laughs> it's a shorts. Should we pant somebody? Oh, it might go well with our thrash. Let's see if we can pant him on. So, Reptar has a paw. He's a good guy. So, look, we have a paw down here and a paw up here. I'm thinking they go together. So, you know, it's embarrassing to go to school without pants. Put one foot in front of the other. Soon you'll be getting on your shorts. Oh, look at that, guys. Woo, he looks super cool. It's what do you cool. think? That's so cool, and that matches it's with so his cool. uh, shirt. Look, he's got double paws. That means he's got double goodness in him. Double goo power, double good, double G. Wow, that's cool. Hey, thumbs up, Moose. You guys did awesome on these. That The fact that you let us like play dress up dolls. Oh yeah, he's got two paws there. Thanks, Caleb. Double paws, he's double good. Now he put shorts on him, he had three paws. Oh man, triple that'd be good. triple G. Maybe he doesn't have one, means he's like half bad, half good. Without his pants, he's not a good person. He's indifferent. I mean, everybody's got to have pants on. He looks like a betrayer. There we go. So his tail comes out the back end there. There we go. That makes sense. Okay. So let's pull off his head. Oh. Now, no, we don't. We got to see how they all squirt. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! <laughs> That's cool. Now I'm gonna do it over the camera too, but I don't want to get the lens. Okay, this is getting messy. It's getting messy, bruh. What'd you say to me? <laughs> What'd you say to me? <laughs> uh, not mom, not camera mom. I got you so good. Mom's gonna cut us off. She's gonna stop the camera. Oh, we're in so in trouble. Okay, guys. <laughs> no more. Okay, here. Oh, look. Red, white, and blue. It's the colors. Da, da, da. All right, for the red, white, and goo. Look, guys, you can have more fun. Okay, when I say green light, you can come forward. Green light, red light. Green light, red light. Oh, you have to go back now. Okay, green light, red light. Oh, you win. Oh, <laughs> green light. Oh, Jacob wins. Yay. Okay. Come on, pull him. Okay. Oh, I feel I'm cracking. <laughs> Too. Yeah, what's inside of him anyways? You just got these little like glistening dots. Those are cool. I love them. That's yeah. cool. Plus, green's my uh, favorite color, so that's really cool. Yeah, and the colors, they look, they're very vibrant. I love it. Okay, guys, we got to do Giga Tusk. Giga Tusk. And who is him? He's super crunchy, not scrunchy like Pantaro. He was scrunchy. Wait, that's so cool. So he's super crunchy. Now, Giga Tusk, he's totally and completely new. Well, so is Reptar. And then on the back, um, Giga Tusks. It tells you a little bit about him. It says, with his fist of steel, Giga Tusk can hammer any barrier. He nails his enemies into the ground <laughs> with his hard hitting moves. And look at that hammer. Whoa, 
stop. It's hammer time. Yeah, we're gonna take a look. There's something really cool about him. Oh, Gigatus, Gigatus. Now look at this guy, and he's crunchy. Oh, wow. Wow, that's like cool. Let's take a look inside, guys. Ooh. Look at those balls. Oh, dude, that's cool. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. It's his food. <laughs> Wait, yeah, he food? eats he eats rocks. Wait, no, no, no. His food turns into rocks. Yeah. Well, you got hit by him. That would be hard. Ow. Okay, so here. You guys stretch him. Pull one hand, pull the other. Not too hard. Oh, wow. Wait, let's try to pull his pants off for his head. I love his tusk. Oh, look, there's a little water hole right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So let's read on, on what's on the back. So on the back, you can see that it says, all new material content gel plastic pellets. Uh, they don't feel too jelly to me. You can just hear him crunching. Oh, look, he's a good guy on his shorts. He's got that paw. And in fact, Caleb was just telling me the black belt actually comes off. Now Gigatus is a black belt. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to take off his pants? Yeah. No, I mean, Here, can you put the black belt on Pantaro? Okay, you take off his pants. You can actually take it off. You can. I like how you can take off and interchange their outfits. That is so awesome. You know, this is just all part of the fun, people. It's just mixing and matching pants, colors. What do you think? Yeah. So we have their um, heads that squirt, shoulders with their uh, duds, and then the, oh, I gotta pull up his pants. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have their knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. So who's, you gonna pull off his head? Yeet. Oh. I was just squeezing it. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's make sure we get everything out. <laughs> Oh. It got me wet. Jacob got me again. We're not gonna let him do it a third time. No! Jacob, water stays on the table, not in my lap. Say yes. Mm -hmm. Into the mic. Mm -hmm. All right. It's, it's like... No excuses. Water stays in the bowl or on the table. You guys... Uh, yeah, he's only dunked me twice. Hey, I'm down to my last shirt and it's Batman. Nobody gets my Batman shirt wet. If it tips over. But Batman goes with Bat-Axe! Woo! It was all coincidental, it's cosmic. Okay, so what we were trying to do, here, I'm bringing the water to Jacob, I'm holding down the bowl. Get him in there. so nervous. Okay, now can you squirt it somewhere? <laughs> oh, it's so wimpy! It's so wimpy! <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Let me try. That so on, on a water fountain scale, this was like horrendous. Oh, the dude, what? Okay, Kayla, you want to try it? Yes. Okay, here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you guys both lost. Now, don't get me wet. I gotta hold it down. Oh, that one, actually, that that one shot out pretty well. Yeah, stop hitting me. <laughs> That, this one actually has more of a fan spray. Hey, if any of you guys are fans out there, I got a spray for you. Okay, I'm holding the bowl, bud. Okay, don't get mama wet. Oh, okay. Oh, look, I won't be able to finish this video because you keep getting me wet, you keep getting mom wet. You guys are the only ones not getting wet. <laughs> mom and I are the only ones getting wet. At least mom gets sprinkles, daddy gets dumps. <laughs> I get dumped on. <laughs> All this water is making me thirsty. A cinch of thirsty. We take these to a whole new level. Okay, guys, who's who? <laughs> what are you doing with my head? What are you doing with my body? <laughs> Look, red goes with green and green goes with red. Woo, they're interchangeable. I think, let's just make sure you can get his head on. Actually, yeah, that's that's pretty cool, man. Now you don't know who's who. Although, he looks pretty cool. Frillneck has now got a fun body. That's cool. Okay, I'm getting confused. Now, the hammer was Gigatusk, so give me Gigatusk's head. Uh, we're gonna confuse everybody who's watching the videos. <laughs> Here. Okay, fix this, fix this, fix this. So, guys, you can change your head, you can change your outfits. 
I mean, it's like capsule chicks. You can rebuild everything. That shot me. Time to go. Now Caleb gives a sprint sprint. Caleb! You can sprint me, Caleb. Okay, there's a towel down on the floor. Wow, guys, we were finding so many fun, cool things to do with these dudes. <laughs> we're taking toys out of the box and we're thinking outside the box. It's okay. Okay, so who's next? Oh, Redback. Finally! The evil dude. Now, all these guys have paws. He has a paw, he has a paw, he has a paw, he has a paw, he has, a paw. He has paw. Paw patrol. Da -da -da. <laughs> Paws patrol. <laughs> and he doesn't have a paw. So Redback, and you can see up here, he, they're trying to display a spider web. So he is a spider. And guess what? He is super goopy. Golly shazam, he's goopy. <laughs> surprise, 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 he's super goopy. And so if we look on the back, Redback, there's a history about him. We'll go ahead and read that. A master of entrapment, Redback strikes quickly with his fang-like claws Few can escape his web of steel once they fall into it. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. And let's just turn him out. Okay, guys, let's take a look at Redback. Okay, now he's super goopy. What makes him so goopy? Should we like do a squeeze here? Oh, look at that! He's got spider webs. That is awesome. <laughs> that is so look at that! Cool. You see the spider webs in him? You, you, hold on. You, you, can you see that on camera? Oh, there we go. That is awesome. That's his steel web, guys. Moosted super cool. I mean, super cool. Super ghoul. Oh, that is so cool looking. Wow. There we go. Oh, look at those spider webs. Spider web. Spider web does whatever a red back can. Can you Let me see if I can get these. Let me see if I can feel one. Oh, yeah, guys. This is going to be super cool to open because I really want to, I can't feel the webs. I don't know what the webs are made of. Oh, well, let's look at the back of his head, okay? Um, and we didn't even inspect his eyes. He's got a total of four eyes, his spider. And then he's got, I guess that's his, his web shooter. I mean, there's his like spider claws and this is his web shooter. He's got, okay, so look at that. That's not a paw. He's got a different insignia here. It's all evil dudes do. So let's see what's in, let's see what's on him by looking on the back. It says, uh, okay, all new material, as all of them say. Contents, gel synthetic rubber. Wow, gel synthetic rubber. This, this is so universal. You know why? Because not only is he Spider-Man, but let me show you something. And we still haven't found a treat, have we? Guys, you know what this could double as? Christmas time. Snowflakes. He's coming down. He's coming down. And he's, he's got the red. So there's ho, ho, ho. He's in that cake. Oh, and his pantaloons come off. <laughs> Dude, now they're all naked without pantaloons. Yeah, and look, you don't have many in there. Yeah, that is cool. I love that. I'm just going to try one more time because I want to see if I can actually grab one of these to feel it. Guys, you have got to watch the revealed when we cut open these so we can actually feel the texture of what's inside of them. Now, guys, we don't recommend you doing this at all, and I'll be doing it with rubber gloves and glasses because if you watched our other video, but that is not going to fit. You're not going to fit that on you. Get that off, bud. That only fits on your big toe. You won't be able to pull it up. You're like, he'll be talking like this. Anybody, it's on me. I can't give up. Wait, Dad, I can actually feel them. It feels weird. Oh, yeah. Can it I feels feel? pretty cool. Can I feel? Here, yeah. That feels actually like webs cut. It, it feels cool. You guys got to watch the video when we reveal this because all the stuff that we're going to see in this is going to be super cool. We really enjoyed the first video. And for those of you who are schemish, like one of the comments says, he goes, it was hard, but it's very satisfying <laughs> or something like that. Hard to watch, yeah. You know what? It's cool to see what's in the toys, what makes up a toy, and that's all we're looking at. We don't like destroying toys, but hey, better that one of us does it to open up, see what toys are made of, kind of scientific, you know, just like Treasure X, you know, what's inside of them. And one of us so everybody can see, then everybody else cutting, destroying toys and stuff. I mean, it's we just think of it that way, you know, so. Now, Pantaro, that would look good on him, wouldn't it? No, oh, yeah. Evil stuff. Yeah. Good. Once you put on the. Now you got the evil dude's insignia on his pants. Once you put him on him, so he's got his good insignia, the paw, and then he's got his ins evil insignia, so he's just neutral. So when people are beating each other up, they're fighting. Ah! Get him! He's like, he just snapped his fingers. Yo, man, I'm just neutral. Snap, snap, snap. snap. Yo, I'm just hanging here. I don't, I'm not good or bad. But you, you take off the bad pants. Hey! Ah! He gets him. Okay. And that's cool. He's got his little ribs here. Um, and we, we haven't sprayed him. Oh, yeah. He's got a cool-looking head. I really love his head, the way it's looking. I mean, he's my favorite. 
Now, if you guys want to know, they usually come in cases. These sell in cases. There's like eight. So you'll get two of these. You'll find two of these and two of those. And then um, I think all the rest. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So these guys right here are going to be, I would say, your rares. And then, of course, your ultra rare, which you'll find maybe every three or four cases. That's going to be tough. And, of course, they don't have the case on the shelves. You guys won't see. That's just part of the, I guess, the, the shipping boxes that they have. Okay, so we got to do the water squirt thing. I will pull the bowl over here. It's Daddy's turn to squirt. Okay. Woo, not too bad. Kind of wimpy. Let me try it again. Oh, it wasn't a bad squirt. Oh, wow, it's not bad like that. Can you try it once, Kate? Let me hold the bowl. It's so mean. But I don't want to get soaked again. That's three times. Three times is too many. <laughs> okay. We're having too much fun. You, you, you're buying stuff for your kids. This is super cool, Mom and Dad. You'll like this and you'll have fun with your kids. It's a great family toy. Jacob, you almost spilled, uh, spilled it on me again. If Jacob gets me a third time, I would be known as Hydra because three's the charm, right? So, so far, guys, we have not found any treats inside of them. So again, I think they just swapped out a squirting head for the treat, which I think is a great um, swap out. Dun, dun, dun. Now we've got Hydra, the ultra rare. And you can see he's super stretchy. Hydra of the Sea. What's the best tuna? Serpent of the Sea. The three-headed serpent monster. I'm using so many references, they'll never know. You can see right there, he's ultra rare. Um, they got the water blast, three times stretchy. This is super cool. This is a great um, step up with uh, frostbite. I mean, I like Hydra. Awesome. And you, in fact, you can see on the back, a little bit of history about Hydra. Hydra outsmarts its opponent every time. Few can withstand an aqua attack from this dragon of the deep. Oh, it's a dragon of the deep. You think it's like the Loch Ness Monster, the Hydra of the deep? So yeah, as Jacob is seeing, you can see on the back, you can actually pull off his head. Not but can you pull off, how many heads can you pull off? Only one. Hmm, let's take a look at the back. It shows here in the picture, you can pull off two of the heads and interchange them. But who says you can pull off all three? Now that would be interesting. Mom says all three. Put in the comments down below before we open it up if you guys think all three heads squirt as well as popping them off. And then, um, oh, we're cheating, aren't we, guys? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, guys, before I reveal this, put in the comments down below if you think all three heads swap and if all three heads squirt water or if two of the heads or just one of the head. As soon as I open this, the resale value of this is going to drop. Well, we already got it wet. <laughs> Maybe we can get it for half. Here we go, Hydra. Oh. Oh, wow. Wait, can I see? Oh, stop taking off his head. We got to show can. everybody. Hold on, hold on. At least one. Okay, guys, here we go. So there's Hydra, Dragon of the Deep. He's got purple shorts on now. Is he good or bad? Let's take a look at the insignia. Is there a paw or some other insignia? It's a paw. So he's on Paw Patrol. He's going to be super cool. Oh, look at that. His head, it turns. And he turns. Where did you have lunch today? I had something I ain't going to share with you. Ha ha, too bad. We all go to the same body, so it has to be shared, <laughs> except your taste buds. Now, before we go any further, let's just take him. Oh, he stretches really good. Look at that. Oh, pull him, guys. Oh, he's actually not that bad to stretch or pull. So, guys, uh, look at this. So, on the back, he's got his tail. He's got purple shorts on, as you can see. I mean, this guy's just, like, really cool. I wish he glowed in the dark, but he doesn't. Uh, get get you showing here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. That is awesome, guys. Okay, and you can see on the back of his head, that's where I'm going to read what's his ingredients. It's riboflavin, dextrose, sugar, and MSG. No, all new material gel plastic film. It feels good. I like it. feels really good. And so what about the heads, guys? One. Okay. Three! Oh, three heads come off and you can interchange them. Oh, and you can suck water. It's actually that. very easy Wait. to suck. Can you oh. suck water on them? Woo! <laughs> okay, Jacob, thank you. Okay. No! Oh. Whoa! It was pandemonium. This camera's totally wet. Thank you, Mom. Mom, I just want to say, I'm sorry! Okay, okay. <laughs> 
Awesome, guys. Hey, you know what? You can share with your friends. You got three of you. You can each pull off a head and just go to town and squirt each other. That is cool. And they just swap, right? Easily swap. You can do show and tell. You can take this to school. And if they don't know anything about it, you can load it with water. Your teacher won't know because you really can't see anything. Oh, look. You can actually see the water in his head. Can you see it moving? And you can go ahead and go, hey, kids. Guess what I got? Show and tell. Show and tell. Show and tell. <laughs> it's all pandemonium. Show and tell. <laughs> that would be that the principal's tell. office for sure. And in shorts. So he has a tail, and he's the dragon of the deep, a hydra. And there's your blazon dragon. And then you've got your reptar. He's frill neck. You know, a dragon, komodo dragon, some sort of like dragon. Um, so those are the only three that have tails, right? So I think they're all dragons, Yeah, right? so I wouldn't tell a tail. <laughs> Here's your tail. Oh. <laughs> he didn't like it when I pulled his tail. It hurts him. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, you know, you can take off his shorts. And he's a good guy. You can go on, I mean, does it go on him? Anyways, we've already played that. That's awesome. Okay, guys, are we ready to go on to our two packs? So who, let's do this one first, okay? Oh, no. Smiles, smiles, welcome to Fantasy Island. Okay, guys, we're now doing the two packs. The first of all, uh, we're going to do Rock Jaw versus Golden Blaze Gun, and not just any Rock Jaw, he's exclusive Rock Jaw. So there's the exclusive part. Now, with Rock Jaw, we've seen him before, and he was in series one, and there he is right there. There's Rock Jaw. Now, this Rock Jaw glowed in the dark, and he was super crunchy. This one is super, where is he? Squishy. Ooh, that'd be fun to compare between the two. And plus, you know, with this rock jaw, he's sporting a fabulous dark vest and sunglasses. I wear my sunglasses at night. He's pretty cool with the sunglasses. And then we got uh, Golden Blazagon, and he's super oozy. And then um, Golden Blazagon has a water blast, but rock jaw apparently doesn't. I mean, it doesn't show it here. In fact, if you look over on the back, that there's only a picture for the Golden Blazagon. We can pull off his head and suck up water and squirt it. Or rock jaw, you don't see anything of the such. I mean, we'll take a look, but from what I can see, there's no hole in his mouth. So I don't think we can um, use him to squirt water. So he doesn't have the water blast attack. And then you can also see over here, the other pack that we're going to open up. It's Golden Pentaro versus Bad Axe. And then just below that, we've got a little description between the two of a little history, actually, of Golden Blazagon versus exclusive rock jaw. And for rock jaw, it says he's always hangry. Okay, so we took the anger with the hunger and we slap him together and he's hangry. So whenever you're hungry, um, you usually get a little bit irritable, angry, so he's hangry. So you gotta keep this guy fed. What do you feed him? Well, we'll take a look and see what's inside of him here. So always hangry, rock jaw can snap at any time. He likes getting his teeth into a meaty brawl and bite off more than he can chew. This guy never leaves a fight without being satisfied. What is he fighting for? The buffet at Chuckarama? I mean, he's getting the line, get out of my way! <laughs> he's downing all the chicken. And then we got Golden Blazagon, ready to erupt in molten gold. Oh, that sounds cool. Blazagon uses his blade of fire to blaze his way to victory. His burning ambition is to lead and conquer. Awesome. So let's go ahead and open him up. Oh. <laughs> okay, this, there we go. Just had to get it over here. There we go. One and two. Exclusive Rock Jaw and Golden Blazagon. Let's go with the Golden Blazagon first. Oh, and he's got a removable vest. So can you see his fire? And there's this fire arm right there. It, you, I don't know if you can see it, but let's see if we can squeeze something up in there. Ah, it's not going up into his his like weapon there. Uh, maybe you guys might have better luck when you, oh, but that's cool looking though. Oh, look at that gold it's got well look it might be synthetic clay if i remember my series one correctly because otherwise that looks kind of like maybe paint <laughs> it's glittery paint it's so pretty that looks pretty cool uh he feels nice and gushy look at that he's getting like angry dun, 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 dun. he's a good guy obviously he's got his um paws and you can remove his vest totally cool like we already went over and put him on somebody else even on the other blazagon and remove their vests, so gold on gold and red on red. I mean, that could be pretty cool. He's got his tail, and like I said, there's just no treat inside of him. He's got no treat. That's cool. So on the back, you can see the uh, ingredients, as it were. It just says gel. Okay, so apparently his head comes off, and we can squirt. I mean, how many times have we done this? We'll do a side shot. Wee! <laughs> Whoa! That was seven, eight feet out there. They did awesome. 
Moose, you guys did awesome on the, the squirting and the trajectory of his uh, water blast. I think that's cool. Now let's go over to the exclusive rock jaw. Okay, first of all, you can see his evil insignia there. So he's an evil dude, he doesn't have paws. And then let's see, he's got his sunglasses, he's got his cutter arm. So he's got something inside of him. In fact, I'm just gonna read real quick what's on the back of his head before I squeeze him, because I'm curious to see before I squeeze him what he's got there, and it's gel beads, Orbeez. Hey, we got some dark Orbeez, that's, oh, purple! Ooh, look at that! That is super cool. We gotta get a flashlight behind that one. Oh, dude, you see that? That's purple beads. That, that, that looks super cool. I like Rockjaw, he's awesome. He looks like a frog. And you know what? I don't see a hole. I don't think he can remove his head. Well, I don't dare try. <laughs> He's like pulling it, pulling it, breaks home. <laughs> Mom, his head doesn't pop. No, his head doesn't pop off. So does that mean he can't squirt? His head doesn't come off. So does that mean there's a treat? Oh, what if there was? Oh my goodness. Um, I can sit here and squeeze it around, see if there is one. I could pull off his vest. Let's do that real quick. Oh man, it feels cool too. I love the Orbeez inside. That's, oh wait, no, that couldn't have been, tri it's so tricky because of the lighting. It changes it to almost like a red, depending upon the light versus purple. I'm guessing that they didn't put any treats inside of him. So he's just come as you are to be a star. Nothing um, outside of no water blast. That's just for the good guys here for the most part, except for our friendly uh, Redback, the spider. And he does feel a little bit thicker. I, I will say that these, all of them so far, just are thick skinned. They're really thick, really thick. These guys are really thick skinned. So I think it'll be a while before you actually accidentally break through them. So cool, and maybe that's why they cost a little bit more, like a buck, buck 50 more. And that's okay, because you get more out of the toy. I'm all for that. Awesome. So here we go exclusive rock jaw and golden blazagon okay finally <laughs> our golden pantaro and our bad axe oh guys while well, i was waiting for us just to get this set up i noticed looking over here at hydra you know he stands by himself but also at the back you can tell which one of his heads isn't right on he's got different heads yeah i didn't notice that so if you look at the top of his heads two of them have like reindeer horns and one of them doesn't and then, the, so I assume this one's gonna be in the middle and these two are on the sides. And the reason why, I mean, besides you got two that don't go together and they have two reindeer horns in this one. So that, I didn't notice that until I was just looking off to the side, waiting for camera mom and us in the setup and she does so awesome. Thumbs up, everybody put thumbs up for camera mom. Yay! But if you look at the back of their necks, you see that how that part of the bone protrudes out? That's the C2, um, his C7's down here. For those of you who are into the neck vertebrae here, the uh, bones. <laughs> so you'll see that one protrudes, right? And that one's an itty, that one's an outie. So if you take them off and you switch them around, they line up perfectly, don't they? And that lines up perfectly. And now you can tell, you can just get your heads on straight with the Hydra, that the ones that have the two reindeer horns here and the one that doesn't, He's the center of the two ones that have the reindeer horn. So you can, you know, anyways, that's, hey, I just had an ADD moment. That's why we love you, Dad. <laughs> you can't spell ADD or ADAD. <laughs> hey, we're having an ad dad moment. Okay, guys, now let's just finish up with the two packs here. The last ones that we have, which is Bad Axe versus Golden Pantaro. And you can see that Bad Axe, he's exclusive because he only comes in the two pack where Pantaro, yeah, he is exclusive if you want the different color, the golden, because otherwise, you know, you got him here too. So in any case, it's the Bad Axe, he's exclusive, just like um, Rock Jaw, exclusive to the two pack. You can only find him in the two pack. Well, you can find him in series one, but not with the change of duds here. And so you can see that Bad Axe is super mushy. And then Golden Pantaro, he's also super oozy, just like our Golden Blazagon. And then also from the two pack, it looks like we only get one, the hero that actually gets the water blast attack. In fact, you can see over on the other side that they only have pictures for Golden Pantaro who can do the water blast. And then you can see, of course, over here, we've got Golden Blazagon versus Rockjaw. 
And then down below, we got a little bit of history. Let's go through that for, first of all, our Bad Axe. Bad Axe uses the cover of darkness to launch a strike from above. With his winged weapon, he slices through the air like a missile. When the battle is done, he disappears before dawn. Well, he's got to go back to his bat cave. Bad Axe, Bad Axe, Bad Axe. And then versus Golden Pantaro. So with the Sword of Stealth, this mysterious golden hunter strikes before his enemy knows what hit them and instantly disappears back into the shadows. Mission accomplished. So back to the shadows, back before dawn. They're both fleeing into the night as it were. Let's go ahead and open them up. Pull it from the side here, it's a little bit easier. Let's do our Super Uzi Golden Pantaro. So there he's got his little weapon there. Uh, let's see what's in him. He's Super Uzi, so he ought to have the same contents as you can see in the back of his head. So we'll just read that really quick. Content gel. So here we go. Let's give him a squeeze. Oh, just like Blazagon, Golden Blazagon. That's pretty cool. I like it. It looks super shiny. You know what? I bet everybody in their offices out there, this will do two things. It'll pose as a decoration next to your computer desk. You know, hey, what's this? And, you know, whatever. And if they give you muck, well, he squirts water. We'll go over that in just a minute. Just pick it up, squirt him. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, just do that during your work days. It's like, oh, oh. You know, pass around the cube, throw it to the next person, you know. And he's got his black belt, comes off too. And well, let's go ahead and pull his head off. And you can see he's got his hole right there. He's got a cool looking mask. I love his panther ears. Where's this hole? It's down there. Okay, let's get some watcher. We have to test all of them. It, here at Adventure Fun, we test all the toys to make sure they function up to speed. And we're so grateful that Camera Mom's here so she can help out. <laughs> okay. Woo! Well, I think I got the camera. Maybe not. So, hey, that's a good shoot. Okay. Camera mom's such a good sport. If nothing else, we got to give her a thumbs up for this. We can put his head on. And then for our next one, Bad Axe. Well, he doesn't have a hole that I can see. I mean, look, he's got one eye that's white and one eye that's like... He's got the bat signal, so if he needs Batman to come help him, you know. Well, I want to squish him, but... Let's see, can you see him anything? Oh man, you can't see anything. He's not transparent. So, I mean, what, oh, wow, that feels cool. Hold on. Oh, look at that, that is so cool. <laughs> What's in him? Are those, what is that? Oh, they're little bats. They're little bats and it's all red. Oh, that's cool. So the back, you can see here, um, it says gel synthetic rubber pellets. Again, I don't think there's any treats. That'd be funny if Moose put like a treat in one of them and said, hey, you know, redeem this and you'll get a thousand dollars. That is cool. And his pants come off and he's got his back. I mean, this is cool. I really like him. I really like Bad Axe. You know, it's like Batman. <laughs> he signals up, Batman comes in. What's the problem? He's awesome. He's got his little bat wings. See, if you listen very closely, you can hear him flapping. Oh, uh, that was him. <laughs> he was flying. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I love Batman, Bat Axe. In any case, he's the Batman. He's the bad dude. And what a collection. I love it. And my favorites are actually these two right here. Bat Axe and the Ultra Rare Hydra, the underwater sea serpent, well, sea dragon, as they call him. And Wow, that is cool. And, you know, I guess the evil dudes are my, my favorites here. I hate to say it, but they're the coolest here. I mean, Blazagon looks awesome. I like Blazagon if he could just stand up, but he won't. And uh, I like the uh, Reptor. And so, really, I think these guys are my favorites. So, guys, put in the comments down below who are your favorites. And, uh, gosh, I hope you guys get the Hydra. That's one in, like, 20 or 50. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Crossfire! <laughs> Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.